And so today's theme is theme is facing and balancing paradigms. And so what is a paradigm? A paradigm is like a computer operating system. It's like the main program that runs the computer. It's like the Windows program for a computer. That is not an Apple, right? The, for the Apple, it will be the iOS. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. I apologize for the Apple people. And so, so what paradigms, what set of ideas, the set of ideas and standards that we have that run subconsciously is not something that we think about. It's just something that we operate from. It's in our subconscious mind and we move and act from it. So we may have adopted them from our family, from society, from the movies we watch, from our culture. It's kind of like the set of expectations, standards, the way we're supposed to be, the way we're supposed to operate. And so in this moment, today, right here and right now, what paradigms are we operating from? So I grew up with a chip on my shoulder that I had to prove that I was strong because of whatever had happened in my life. That I was strong and I was independent. And through life, through the work that I have done, I have learned that I have to rely on teamwork. And so I had to not just give, right? That's another one of those paradigms of how the woman is the caretaker. And that may or may have not been your experience, but that was my experience. And so being the caretaker, being uh, strong, and at the same time, having to be the damsel in distress to be able to attract that special partner to my life. And so, through life, I have learned to allow myself to receive support, to receive the teamwork energy, to work together, to not just give, but to allow myself to receive, to ask and allow myself to receive. I have expanded my definition that vulnerability also is strength. And so, what paradigms are you operating from today? What paradigms are running your life without you even realizing? Are they still working for you? Is this leading you to achieve the dreams? Is it contributing for your achievements of the dreams you want to accomplish? for the accomplishment of your goals. Is this paradigm working for you? And so as we breathe deeply, breathing out, release, releasing, letting go, coming to center in our bodies, Knowing the truth of our being. Let's be courageous. Let's step into the unknown. Let's determine that every morning we're working on improving our paradigm. We're seeking for ways to improve our personal operating system. And just breathe in the truth of who you are, the truth of your being. We are divinity in expression. Look at yourself in the eyes, in the mirror, or in the camera on your cell phone, 
and tell yourself, I am divinity in expression. My spiritual DNA is perfect. Who I am is perfect. And so I have within myself the divine courage. I have within myself the divine strength to go deeply within, to allow this strength, this vulnerability that I am to come forth. Know the truth that you are. It lies within you. And so it may feel scary. It may feel uncomfortable. Because we're doing something new. We're shifting into a new paradigm. A new set of standards. And so we... Learn to surf through the uncomfortable. We learn to say, All right, I am changing. All right, I am a little bit freaked out. All right, this is part of life. How am I going to work out? who I truly am with the people around me. Some relationships may melt away. Some relationships may disappear. Some relationships may transform. And this is all part of the process. And so we release our grip on these old paradigms that no longer serve us and we replace them with this new upgraded paradigm with an upgraded operating system yep that applies to us as well we can do that and so let's dare let's be bold Let's be audacious. It's in us. We have it in us. And so, just see yourself surrounded, enfolded in grace, enfolded in unconditional love. And know that this unconditional love, this truth of who you are, is flowing through you and as you. Because this is you. This is who you are. And so I can sense it in you. I can see it in you. And your higher self can see it in you as well. So will you look at your mirror or will you look at yourself in your phone and tell yourself, perhaps I cannot see it for myself yet, but I know my higher self knows the truth of my being. And I am committed every morning to choose a better paradigm for myself. I recognize, I claim for myself the divine strength that I am. I claim and I see the strength even within the vulnerability. And I am willing to try out even to fail in the process because failure is part of the learning process. That's how we learn to ride a bike, to walk, to skate, to rollerblade, to drive. You can ask my mom. 
how scared she was sometimes when I was learning how to drive. It's all part of the process. And so know that you are blessed just because you are. I am that I am is in you. I am that I am is you. And so in this moment, as we're breathing in and out, at our own pace, we acknowledge, we recognize, we allow this truth that we are to manifest more and more day by day in our lives. We already are this higher expression. We're just learning to release our limitations, whether we adopted them knowingly or unknowingly, whether we thought we had to do this to be able to attract the perfect mate or to be able to fit in with our friends. Is that serving us? What is your heart calling out for you to do? And so as we sit in this meditation, allow it, allow this light that you are to flow from the top of your head through to the bottom of your feet, releasing what no longer serves you to Mother Earth. And from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head, out through your hands as well. Just allow this flow of light, of love, of peace, of joy that you are. This strength, this peace, this knowingness, this discernment, this understanding. You are understanding. You are discernment. You are divine clarity. And so acknowledge it. Own it. Allow yourself to be. And so as we face these paradigms that may no longer serve us, we open ourselves as we balance day by day these new paradigms. For your presence here, We are grateful. And so let's continue to go within and to explore. Namaste.